Well then, so we're back again. Um, I've invited Zuni back on again because she's she behaved herself. I'm, I'm the only one available. <laughs> until she's that's the truth. Until until she told me that she got I uh, got old sheep's hair. <laughs> um, and then I thought uh, maybe maybe we'll just cancel the lot. But here she is anyway. She's back again. Um, so good to have you on, Zuni. Thank you for having me. Um, so what's been uh, what's been happening in your life this week? Anything? My life. Uh, no, not too much really. Yeah, just, just looking after Valentina, uh, selling books. I have been selling books uh, on eBay. I'm allowed to say eBay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, doing selling my uh, my guilty pleasure, uh, reading. Yeah. I read Mills and Boons. It's I know it's for all ladies, but I love romance. I love that fantasy scene to escape from reality. She's being modest. She's 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 not just selling the books. She's, yeah. She's flipping it. Well, Flip, she she buys. Flipping. Yeah, flipping, yeah. yeah. I'm flipping, yeah. Buying second-hand books and selling on eBay. After so. you read them? After read them. Yeah, yeah. I need to try first and yeah, give you, yeah, yeah. Yes. Happy with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, playing with Valentina and no, not too much. Not, uh, we're not going to talk too much about coronavirus. No, it's, it's oh, fucking, no. It's everywhere at the moment. So. Yeah, I, I had my first experience of something weird that I've never experienced before. Um, when did I go running? Yesterday. Yeah. Um, I got runner's nipple. I didn't tell you about this. So, runner's nipple <laughs> is when you're running and your shirt rubs on your nipples. Oh wow! And it makes them sore. And so and, and that can bleed. Bleed. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Ooh, I got nipples. <laughs> so I've had no. I've got, I've got runner's nipple only on the one nipple. So I don't know if that nipple's a bit more, a bit more oh, pointed wow. than the other. You get one. excited or what? what <laughs> Maybe I did, yeah. But it's still sore. Still oh, sore. Wow. You yeah. never, you never had that before, do you? Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm growing some boobs. Maybe I'm, yeah, uh, definitely. You need some bra. Yeah, yeah you are growing there thanks. just a little bit. Um, <laughs> but I don't, something maybe you haven't heard about in the last, <clears throat> I don't know, in the last couple of hours is um, that Kim Jong Un is, well, they're saying that he's, it sounds like he's dead. What? Yeah, yeah. He, um, during, he had heart surgery. So he's, uh, he, I don't know if he's got crazy doctors or what, but he had heart surgery and, uh, and then North Korea put out that he was, he'd had, um, he, he'd had some complications and he was in a vegetative state. So he's, uh... How old is that guy? Or was, he's if he's alive? Yeah, he's pretty young. No way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it sounds, it sounds suspicious, doesn't it? No Especially when way. his dad's, his dad's not His long. dad not long, he died. And he suddenly, that guy died. Yeah. After Donald Trump yeah. visited him. But that's what people were saying. People, were saying oh. people tend to die after the Trump Trump. had contact with them. <laughs> Not good. Oh, she... Single-handedly spreading the coronavirus. Ah. So it might. Was just a rumor. Was just a, like like a new new or. No, no. It's just no. It's a, well, it's a rumor that he's died. I think that's the assumption people are making. Because if it's coming out of North Korea, if the the official line from North Korea is that he's in a vegetative state, okay. as in a, as in like coma. I don't know. Paralyzed not responding. Uh, what does that mean for North Korea from now on? Do you think that the life there is going to change? Well, they're, they're talking, they're already, people are already talking at the moment about um, his sister taking over. Oh, wow. Uh, and she looks pretty mean. Okay. So... Uh, we mean, we, well, we are bitch. Yes, no uh, way. The world, if he, if he thought that Kim Jong-un no, was, you, was bad. Yeah, if you thought Kim Jong-un was bad, this... We don't know what's coming there. Ooh, but then no. again, she might be better. I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> Just hot. It's just I don't weird. know. We are living in a weird, weird. It's such a weird time. Yeah. It doesn't seem real. None yeah. of it seems real. Does it? I, hear, of... I heard that about simulation. Maybe we are living in a simulation. Yeah. And then there's that theory. There's a theory that the, that the world ended. Ended then. And then it ne- the, with the ma- with the Maya uh, with the Maya thing was 2000. The Mayan calendar t- 2012 was it? Yeah. yeah. So maybe the world so ended the world in 2012, 2012, and this is just like this is a dream you know, or something. Just dreaming then. You can't, you I want to change my dream. I want to live in a mansion. <laughs> Actually, have a good one, a good, a good afterlife. Oh wow! Yeah. In a mansion with with some oh, of the oh, the heroes with... out of your Mills and Boom books. Yeah, with oh Jason Momoa. <laughs> Jason oh, Momoa. <laughs> oh God. Maybe that's how you know. Or maybe in your last life, you you were a sinner. A you... Sinner. Oh God! I'm gonna have a wine. <laughs> What are you drinking? You haven't said what are you drinking. Yeah, as always, in my drink, um, rosé wine. Rosé. Yeah. What what's yeah. the uh, what's the brand? Is I think it's Blossom Hill. Yeah. No. No, it's not. Echo Four. Echo Four. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. The Echo Sorry, they all taste the same. Just <laughs> rosé wine. Once you've had once you've had six or seven glasses, it all tastes. <laughs> they all taste the same. I've got red. I'm drinking red today. 
Um, quite a nice bottle that I like, which is Campanello, and it's Tempranillo. Is that Spanish? Yeah. Espanol. That's my favourite red wine. Um, just because it's a bit fruity. Mm. It's nice, though. So I'm going to... Uh... Oh, you like fruity stuff? Mm. Yeah, don't, don't start any rumours. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's weird, isn't it? It's like, so, North Korea... The thing is, their people don't know any different. No. So, Unfortunately, because don't. it's been generations and generations, yeah. it's the same as it's similar to what happened in China. Yeah. China, because when it was a communist country before, it was very, very similar to, to North Korea. And so they found it difficult to, to adapt to a more free market and more so have their lives ruled by um, companies mm. and um, materialism. Mm. Yeah. That they didn't have before. So the younger generations now yeah, yeah, are used yeah. to that, but the older ones not. So if North Korea was to change, that's what would, would need to happen, to happen, isn't it? Yeah. They'd need to have like... So hopefully with this guy is definitely mm. dead, hopefully the thing changed for the, for the people. You know so, wouldn't you? It's just insane yeah. to carry on living like that, and like in a bubble, when somebody's just telling you what to do, to like controlling you... Uh, I don't know, it's just, no, it's just... But then again, like you say about living in a bubble, but yeah. maybe for outsiders looking into the uh, kind of Western world, maybe it's us that are living in the bubble. Living in a bubble, yeah, possibly. Maybe, they look maybe we think they are suffering, yeah. and maybe they think we are suffering. Yeah. And so we think, yeah. You never know, do you? you never know. Yeah, never it's, just... know. it's just crazy. It so <laughs> so what, what are we going to do today? We're... Right then, so... This is one of this is one of the big the big um, what's the word the big themes the big uh, topics that everybody wants to talk about. Not really, it's just me. Yeah. This is like one of one of the things that I'm interested in, and, <laughs> and that is Bigfoot and whether Bigfoot exists. <laughs> so whether Bigfoot exists and. Um, because my, my thing is, my belief is that Bigfoot or Sasquatch or whatever, whatever other names, because it's, at the moment it's a, a mythical creature, it's yeah. like a fantasy, do you know yeah. what I mean, a fantasy beast. But whatever people want to call it, my belief is that it exists. Okay. And people might think that's a bit weird. Yeah, no, you like, are weird. Not, no, no, but it's not everything. I don't believe every, all, of the, all of these kind of myths and legends and cryptozoology and all. I don't, I don't believe all of it. So, for example, things like uh, the Loch Ness Monster and other things like... I don't believe any of that. The Mothman or okay. Skinwalker or... I don't believe any of those. But Bigfoot, I believe, I believe to be a real animal. Okay. Um, what type of animal? A bear? A chimpanzee? A no. Gorilla? A... I, I, I believe that they're a primate, so they kind of, they belong to our, um... So you think maybe a guy has sex with a... No, 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 no. no. A bear with gorilla. What? A bear with gorilla and have a Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably got about as much credence as, uh, as me saying it. I, I don't believe that thing. No, so... So I know that some people take this seriously. Yeah, yeah. And... Uh, but, uh, I mean, I don't care. Like, if people, if people want to say that I'm, I'm crazy, I don't really care. Yeah. But I'm just saying it's one of the things that I, I believe, and I'll, I'll tell you why I, why I believe. Because I, I believe that it's, um, it's another, another species of primate on the planet. So in the same family as, as human... That hasn't been discovered yet. Yeah. Yeah, on the same evolutionary tree, um, and there's loads of reasons why I believe why I believe it to be true. That so, and, and I believe that it's not. Um, I actually believe that it may be another uh, hominid, so another possibly another type of man. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So not necessarily uh, like a good, or it could be. I don't know. Okay, that part I don't know, but. But my, my feeling is, is that they're much closer to, to man, to, man to, hum, to, yeah, to, to Homo sapiens, than, say, a gorilla. Okay. And the re one of the reasons is because they're supposedly bipedal, so they work okay. on two feet. Yeah. And that, that uh, ability also helps with evolution okay. and, and okay. being able to... Okay, the thing is, I don't believe in Bigfoot. And 
the reason is why these days we have so much tools, so much technology, and we can have access to everything. So why no one hasn't been a real Bigfoot? I have seen videos, I've been showing me videos about this Bigfoot, whatever. But people, it looks like people just wearing a costume. But so nobody so, have yeah. found a proper, proper, proper video. It's just somebody in, in, in the bushes breathing really hard with a hard beat, boom, boom. <laughs> Well, it's nothing like a, come on, it's so, just people creating all this, you know what, it's fake news. No, 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 so... People you there, you don't I'm waste saying. your time watching those videos, that's rubbish. I understand what you're saying, so, my, so to counter that, I, I think that, and this is going to sound maybe a bit silly, a bit silly, but at the same time it's logical, that if it is a, if it is a bipedal, uh, primate human type so it needs to have similar legs to a human to be able to yeah. walk bipedally well living where where in the mountains where? wait let me just let me just finish the point so if it's if it's bipedal it's got the same kind of it needs to have the same proportion of legs as humans do so mm. it walk and walk in the same with in a similar posture okay. to be able to walk efficiently yeah so it is gonna look like a human it's not gonna like a human covered in hair like, Harry human. Like, I saw Harry human. So, so because of what you said, and it's very true, is we don't know what if they exist. We don't know what they are, mm -hmm. and and if they are a bipedal animal primate that walks upright, you can't you can't then you can't like if you're a non-believer you can't push onto them that they should be walking in a different way, hunched over like a monkey. It, they're going to walk like a human because it's the most efficient way to walk, or similar to a human. Mm. So so some will look in my opinion, will, in the, in the costumes, will look like a, do you know what I mean, like a human? It will look like a human. And so, you saying about the videos, yeah. I actually, I, I like looking at the videos online, on YouTube, um, but I own, I, my belief is that there's only around 5% of those videos that I think could possibly be real. Be real. And what brings me to that conclusion. So I'll discount all the ones that I think a human, so that's a very human, like, I'm not sure, a human could do that. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then, then I'll discount that. So even if it was a real Bigfoot, yeah. then I'd, I'd discount, like I may still discount it because it's, possi ah, yeah. it's possible that a human- I don't know, I'm still skeptical. It's possible I that, just, a that a human- I need to see a proper Bigfoot in front of me <laughs> to, to, believe. to believe. So, but what I'm saying is, is, so I discount those, and it's only the videos that I believe that there's something, there's a characteristic in the video that makes it even more different. Mm. Something that a human wouldn't have thought to do. Yeah. If you, if you know if what I mean. You are not, yeah. So for example, there's some, I'll tell you a, couple, a few of the videos. There's, uh, there's one, for example, of, a, of, of some sort of animal in a swamp and somebody films it in a swamp it's actually in the swamp and it's digging a, a tree at, at, at the base of a tree it's like and it's pulling, pulling the, tree. the tree apart okay and and it but so it needs quite it needs quite a lot of power what do you think is to, it, is to pull it, the tree apart was the real tree yeah well it was or not? But, but this is what i'm saying though like you can so you, you can you can you can say that some of some percentage of, of these videos could have been hoaxed. So take away the ninety five percent of videos; they're all like rubbish. Yeah. Then have so you've got five percent left that you think okay, that's potentially potentially it could mm. be real. And then out of that five percent, you say okay, how many of them would have taken the time to go and stage this this event? Yeah. It, I'm sure it wouldn't be all of them mm. I'm sure, so even if you take a tiny even if you take point i don't know point one percent of everything yeah and say this was this this point one percent is, is the only is the only real footage where somebody stumbled on something yeah and do you find footage from everywhere around the world or yeah. just there is like like a specific places like that's russia a, so that's another, russia is a massive so country that's, an, that's another um that's another thing that can, that gives me... Or you can find that in Brazil, that you can find that in the jungle, you can find that in... You don't see Bigfoot in Africa. 
Well, you said, yeah, so, it's, okay, okay, so, no, it's a good, it's a really good point. So, you don't find, you don't find Bigfoot in Africa, but you find um, sightings of hominids, as in human, like, bipedal, either people or primates or whatever. Mm. You, you find sightings of that, and you get videos of that from all around the world. So, for example, there was one in somewhere like Sri Lanka, uh, no, I don't think it was, I think it was Borneo, maybe. And there's a video where there's guys on bikes... Chasing like, um, the trail bikes. Okay. So uh, you, they can go anywhere on these motorbikes, going through kind of these. Um, they look like bamboo fields, whatever. Okay. And this tiny little man. Okay. Runs out in front of one of them, and they stop. It stops them because it because they weren't yeah. expecting it, and it runs off down the path that they're following, and the one chases after it, and they've got oh, cameras wow. on the helmets. Anyway, they chase after it, and you can see it running away. Covering the hair. No. Like no no hair on, on the body, running and then runs off into the like into the bamboo field or whatever it is. But it, that that was a really compelling video for me. Either because either it's like a it's like a different type of human, yeah. or it's a tribe that lives in that area that are all really really yeah. small. Anyway, so that's so I'm just saying that they do you do see things around the world and people do capture things. Yeah that are a little bit strange. Yeah, I so, don't know. So going back to what you're saying about Russia and this is what, this is what, so people go, okay, so where, where are the sightings? You say, well, just in America, just in North America and just in Russia. Because the mountains. But yeah, but those are the most densely wooded areas on the planet, as in northern wooded areas. So a creature that was covered in thick, dense hair. Obviously need to be living. Wouldn't live in Africa. Well, yeah. yeah. So it lives cold. in cold climates. Yeah. A creature of that size would yeah. need to live would need to live in somewhere that would hide it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So. so it could be in the forest, and so that would that would also it would also explain why you've got them in Russia and why you've got them in America in North America, wouldn't it? Because that band of ancient of ancient kind of woodland stretches right or almost right around the globe, right around, mm. and so from Russia to the U.S. There was there was once a, a land bridge that would cross from Russia to the US. Okay. So oh. that would explain that. Ah, oh, yeah, makes sense. Why they would be in those locations. Okay. So. Yep. So. So it's a possibility. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So then another argument. So I want to put some arguments up that people say why why it's not real, is so where is one? Why haven't we found? Yeah, one? exactly. Why why. And I've heard, I've heard a lot of different people talk about it. Um, I think Joe Rogan's talked about it on his podcast and I've heard other people talk about it. But people who go hunting, they never ever find, you never find mountain lion bodies or skeletons. You never find bear skeletons. And these are, these are animals that you know and that you see regularly. Okay, so you think the Bigfoot is eating them? No. Okay. No, no, what I'm saying, what I'm, ah. what I'm saying is, is, is that if these are, are, are well-known animals that hunters see regularly okay. and you don't find the bodies, so then they, might ha they must have a behaviour that they go and, they go and uh, dispose of. You know, like, for example, a cat will go and mm. go underneath a bush yeah. and die when it's dying, go and die underneath a bush. So these animals don't, when they're dying, they go and die. So not only is it in a huge wilderness... But they also go, do you know what I mean? Maybe they've got a behaviour. I'm talking about the mountain lions and the bears. Maybe they've got a behaviour. That's why you, nobody ever finds a skeleton or a body or... Of, I'm talking of mountain lions or bears. Yeah, okay. So then you have an animal that's a lot more intelligent than a mountain lion or a bear. And that's his big food. Yeah. <laughs> and so... So it, 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 my theory is, is that there's, there's some of the... Is that Yeti? Is that connecting? Yeti, that's what I mean, Yeti or... Ah, they have different names in different uh, places. Oh, yeah. okay. So they've, they've all got different names. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so like, so for me, I believe that they, that they do exist. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I think we like stories. And we like to find things nobody knows. We, and you, we create things all the time. So I think Bigfoot is one those things we do we do i just i just feel like there's too much correlating if you strip away all the stuff that is blatantly hoaxed or you strip away all the things that are on the tv 
And if you just take the evidence that is that, that that is solid. So, for example, you just take camera video, phone camera videos that somebody's filmed, and like I say, it's got a characteristic, uh, for example, of current primates that we that we know, which is what I was going to say to you. We know that current primates will eat bugs and insects out of trees, and they break open the trees to get at, at, at uh, grubs and, and other things. So we know that. So so that's a characteristic. Um, so if we look at those characteristics and then we add in, when you plot all of the different points that, that people have had sighted, people have had sighted, yeah. it's, a re like it's, it's a really interesting, it follows, it follows certain patterns. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Ah. For example, for example, if you had a map of North America, if it was a, ho if it was, if it was a hoax, if everything was a hoax, then you would imagine the 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 distribution of the of the sightings across North America. You'd you'd expect them to be pretty random, mm. wouldn't you? Yeah. Why why would they be concentrated into specific zones along specific mountain ranges, along specific water sources? Like why? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if it was a completely random phenomena, I don't know. No? No, I know we live too big food, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, anyway, it's my, that's one of my, my crazy beliefs. Yeah, I, I think I need, else. somebody need to send me a proper video or yeah. something. I don't, like, look, I don't, be I don't believe in anything else. I don't believe in anything else weird or crazy or anything. I don't believe in anything else. But, but Bigfoot as an animal that we haven't yet discovered is there somewhere yeah but it's if you were going to hide an animal then the the, the forests of siberia of, of russia the mountains of, of russia and nepal and all of that and, and then north america canada that that's the perfect place to hide a huge a large animal if there was to be a large animal that was yeah. undiscovered we'll see if we'll see if you want that we can see a proper video yeah yeah well, I believe this probably. Meanwhile, I just yeah. I don't want to waste my time watching those <laughs> silly videos. Yeah. But let me know if you let me know if you believe. Let me know if you don't. Let me know if you're an, if if you think I'm an idiot. Just let me know. Just just put in the comments what you think. <laughs> let me know. I like it. No. It keeps me entertained. It keeps me out of your way. Now, Bigfoot is just yeah. sorry. <laughs> um. So then, like, I want to get on to so. The next subject that, that I want to get onto is um, I know you've be, you listen a lot to him, uh, oh. Jordan Peterson. Oh my god! On, uh, you know what I love that guy is I really like him. Mm. I think I have a crush on him. Okay. I always like all the guys. Yeah. But Jordan Peterson, I really like him. Yeah. He's always dressing smart suits and the way he talks and the way he thinks. He's He's, I don't know, I like it, the way he thinks about everything. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a Catholic. I grew up in a Catholic family. But I never understood the Bible before. Does that make sense for you? It's yeah. insane. Going, going to church. I went to church every Sunday. I heard the vicar or the padre or the father talking about the Bible. But it never made sense for me. It never makes sense for me. Now, after... Listen to Jordan Peterson's uh, lectures. Everything Makes sense. click for me. In what way? Like the, how, it, how, it, how it how it applies the to life. The way he used the Bible to explain things like a reality thing, things real real things. Yeah, mm -hmm. because people would see the Bible. Oh, the Bible. Oh, it's just like a fantasy thing. So, or people have the faith and stuff like that. And this day, you know, the faith is just definitely going. Yeah. Down with people don't go to church anymore, but it's just the way how for me Jordan Peterson changed the whole the whole way I was thinking about the Bible and Jesus and God, but in a good way, in a good way, and yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a shame he I never heard about him before mm. because I think if he that was the case my life I don't think in my life but. Well, I wasn't a bad person. Oh, I, I am a bad person. No. Well, we change so many things from the past. Yeah. Because of him. So if I if I had the chance, oh, please, Jordan Peterson, <laughs> invite me to your lectures, please. 
Yeah, I uh, yeah yeah he's really good. Do you think do you think that he's he's like the religious side to him? Because when I listen to him, he's a psychologist. It's like, it's like, yeah. But when I listen to the when I listen to him, I I I don't see a religious person. I, I do no, see, no, he he's I not. I do a see religious. a religious person, but I he doesn't he, he doesn't communicate it in a way that makes him look religious. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, and that's what I wanted to yeah. ask you. So, do you think he's religious? Do you think he's a religious person? A little bit. A little bit, but not in that fanatic mm -hmm. way. Like some people say, oh, religion is just fanatic. No, 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 no. He's just really, he used the psychology things and the religious things and the reality as well and just mix it and apply it to your reality, to your life, yeah. to how do you feel, to to, to your unconscious. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah, I think he's really, really good. And I know, I remember, I never heard about Jordan Peterson because you talked to me about him and you talked to me about the 12 rules of life. Yeah. And you said that book was more for guys? Mm -hmm. No. It's not your for guys. Yeah. It's for everybody. See, but, but that's why... That's the thing. Some people believe Jordan Peterson is more for masculine things. No. Jordan Peterson, for me, is for, is for everybody. For women, for, for young women, for young guys, for older guys, for... No. Families, for mm -hmm. couples, for couples. Because he gave some advice in those lectures and applied to uh, us. And it made sense. Yeah. So many, many things. Yeah. I think he was maybe, he was, um, he was demonized yeah. early on. Yeah, definitely. And he was put into a category of being a right wing, um, like, uh, I don't know, right wing I, anti feminist. Yeah, I think the people who would say that thing is never read. Mm. about him mm -hmm. it's just listen to somebody else and yeah. follow the, the path yeah. but if you read the true uh, the 12 rule for life it's gonna change your life mm -hmm. it's gonna change your life it's a really good book i still i finished the book a long time ago and i carry on sometimes just reading a little bit back again and mm -hmm. yeah it's really really good. yeah you know it's really cool I actually, I do, I honestly believe, and the way he talks as well, I believe that he's one of the, like, the great philosophers. Yeah, oh, definitely. Like, of all time. Yeah. Like, so you put him up there with some of the great, the great, great philosophers of, yeah. the, of the past. Um, and sometimes he cried in his lectures, mm. and he showed that human side, yeah. like some people you don't see these days. Yeah. Some people, we, we always hide our emotions. Mm -hmm. He showed that Peterson doesn't. Yeah. He just... Yeah. He gave everything he has, mm -hmm. so I really like him. Which is, the, that's the right way to be because yeah. it cleanses, it like, it keeps your your mental state clean. Yeah. It keeps your mental state clean, so if you if you express everything that you feel, yeah, exactly. then after that you feel... Yeah, exactly. You say, just tell the truth, mm -hmm. well, at least don't lie. That's the one, that's what he says, isn't it? one of his quotes. Yeah. So just leave, say things you mean, yeah. not things you want people to hear for yes. you. Like all these, ugh, so many things on Facebook, on social media. People just write things, say things because they think that's what people want you to say. Don't do that. Yeah. Say things you believe, if they're going to hate you. Yeah. Yeah. Just speak your mind. Yeah. Things in your means. Don't, don't fake things. You just, you just, yeah. you just, we need to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very true. And then, like, you, you face, you face then the, the consequence of, yeah. of what you say and what you... And that's the best way to live because... Yeah. And I know this is something else that Jordan Peterson says, that conflict based on two people who have opposing ideas is really healthy. Yeah, of course it is. It's really, really... So in the modern day where now people want to cancel other people, who want to like kind of shout people down and not let other people have a voice it's much better for the two Could people. you imagine living with somebody who agree with you all the time? Is boring. You kill both of you. Yeah, you need yeah. to be able, and I, I hate that type of people. I don't need no hate. No, that's a hard word. I don't like people who think I'm gonna be just be friend with you if you think like me. If you don't think like me, you're out. Yeah. That's what. So we need to open our mind. We need to be, I don't know, flexible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flexible. It's like, and, and I was because I was thinking of this the other day. The same thing about conflict that when two people have different. Point of view, yeah, of view. opinions, yeah. It's even if it, even if you take it to the nth degree, which is where it becomes mortal. So, so the nth degree is where it becomes mortal, where 
you both have opposing ideas and it's you the, the two opposing ideas are so extreme mm. oh okay that it becomes yeah. a it yeah, becomes a different. matter of life and death yeah. no i'm saying what i'm saying like our, uh, our marriage <laughs> <laughs> Our marriage is pretty mortal. Yeah, we are touching our breaking point. <laughs> but <laughs> what I'm talking about, I'll edit that. I'll edit that. <laughs> no, what what I'm saying is, is it goes back to like it's better to it's better to live, like it's better to live your truth. Yeah. And die. Yes. Yeah. Than to Than, to, yeah. to live a whole life. A whole not, life, yeah, pretending to be somebody, somebody you, else, you, yeah. you know. You know. So it's wrong. it's no good. It's that's why I'm saying that if, if you've got a conflict with somebody, it's better to go and like yeah. meet it head on. Be available yeah. to change your be available to change your mind. If yeah. that person yeah. changes your mind, yeah. but it, it comes down to, for example, if somebody's doing something you don't agree with, so it comes down what I'm saying, it comes down to if you see something in the street that you don't agree with, somebody's robbing something. Okay, do something. Do something, yeah. Because something. that's your yeah. that's your um, your ethics, and yeah, that's the exactly. person that you are. And if you don't do something, stop complaining. No, I was gonna, if you don't do something, you'll then regret okay. it. And then it's your it's your person, it's your yeah. soul that starts to diminish. Yeah. Because you didn't do something, and you, then you'll yeah. always say to yourself, "I didn't do something when I should have yeah. done something." Yeah, should have done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and that's what I'm, that's an extreme example. Yeah. But like you say, it's always say what you feel. Yeah. That doesn't mean that you have to be abusive. Yeah, no, no. And, and I think another thing you need to do is tell the truth and take responsibility, mm -hmm. responsibilities yeah. from your own decisions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stop blaming somebody else for your problems. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And just face every single problem, every single challenge and fix it. Mm -hmm. Because it's easy this way. You used to blame the government, to blame whatever, my teacher, my parents, my husband, my boyfriend, my boss, for your miserable life. <coughs> it's interesting you say that because, and it's very, it's pertinent for this time, because I've noticed a lot now, and we'll talk about it similar, something in this area shortly, but people today want to jump, want, it doesn't matter what side, everybody's political, aren't they? Everybody's have an opinion. Yeah, but everybody's political, everybody's on okay. this side or this side. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter what the sides are, they're exactly. on this side or this side. They were, yeah. and, and do you know what? When you're on one side or the other, and I've realised, it's a way for you to, to make an excuse for, for your failings. So it's much easier to say, the government is destroying the NHS because they're not... Mm. And it's much easier to do that than yeah. to. It, it, it's it's a way of of. It's a that's a really bad example, but what I'm saying is 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 it's it's better to to attack something instead of looking at yourself. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yes, I, I, yes, I agree that the government should do things. Yeah. We should all do things. Yeah. But the, the yeah, for example, the NHS is suffering now because there are so many people unhealthy people and they're spending so much money in people who is f obese people have diabetes people are you know what I mean? so if everybody smoke people who smoke uh, well if every single person okay i'm gonna eat health i'm gonna eat less i'm gonna do more exercise do you think that uh, that problem with people being obese people being uh, with diabetes it could be come down if every single person start doing that personally. Of course, yeah, 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 of yeah. course, yeah, yeah. It help it, exactly. Those are things to help. So don't complain yeah. to the to the government. No use uh, if if thing, you smoke. Yeah. Don't complain about somebody else if, you if you're obese. Overweight. Yeah. Don't complain. Absolutely. Yeah. If every single person start eating healthy, doing exercise, uh, be more active. Okay, all these problems. Do, do, do it's the individual, that. isn't it? Exactly. It starts with you. Like, yeah. It starts with the individual. It ends with the individual. Yeah. As, a, yeah. as an individual. So before they criticize the world, Jordan Peterson said, clean your room. Yeah, yeah. And that means fix your problems. Yeah? yeah? yeah. Fix your problems. Mm -hmm. Whatever is bothering you, fix it. Yeah. And see, every single human being in this planet do that. Oh my God. We are going to live in heaven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cheese. Why it's <laughs> why it's why that's a, a good piece of advice is because 
because that's an area that everybody can fix, everybody can work on, because nobody's perfect. No. So you're, when you complain about this or you complain about that, you complain about the government, you complain about this public figure, you've got to remember that nobody's perfect and everybody's got their own problems. Exactly. And so to do that, to, to criticise somebody else... Criticise yourself first? Look inside you. Yeah. It's hypocritical to be, to be attacking other people. Yeah. And this is so common these days. People just attacking all that people just without knowing them, without mm, listening yeah. to them, without just, yeah. just, just. Oh God, Even if it's say. somebody that you don't agree with, have patience and empathy yeah, to listen to. Give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. God. Yeah. It's just. Because you might educate. Judgment. We are. Judgmental. We are. Yeah. We've but, but I feel like we've become more like that. Yeah. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. It feels like it's more yeah, recent. Just re yeah. Just Since the Mayan apocalypse, when the world ended, we become more dramatic. And these new simulations. Yeah, it's not very good. Mm, no good. Yeah, change the simulation, please. <laughs> um, but going back, just going back to Jordan Peterson, I do think he's, um, as with all geniuses, he's very, he's, he's tortured, like, he's very tortured as Yes, well. because he's so... He's intense. He's so, yeah, he feels everything so intense. And he's, he's so real. He's really real. But that's it. He's not just saying it. He's no, living he's that. He's living the same. And, it, and actually, maybe that's the reason that yeah. why people choose to attack other people. Because to live morally and to live well yeah. and to live balanced... It's not easy. It's not easy. No. So maybe that's... Because it's easier to follow the, the black sheep. Yes, it's easy to follow the crowd. Yeah. It's easy that way. Yeah, yeah. It's easy. 100%. It's easy. And when you think differently, when you speak differently, when you are different to the rest, is that when people start attacking you. Yeah, yeah. People thinking or pointing to you and thinking you are crazy or you mm -hmm. are bad. Or I think that it was Jordan Peterson's case when people start criticizing him and saying something. Mm -hmm. But I think he's brilliant. He's unique. He's yeah. just. He he definitely changed uh, he changed people's life. I think he's in a like a, a period of the like recovery. Recovery. I think he's uh, he's in Miami now. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. take his own sunshine. I know he's in Russia. He was in Russia having some rehabilitations and things. He was a little bit really really bad. Something that I saw him the other day on. Um, I've just started to to get into Theo Von, uh, the comedian. Oh US. God! So he doesn't. Really Is that guy with a real real really crazy haircut? He's got the mullet. Mollet. Yeah, I, I think he's, he's quality, but um, Jordan Peterson was on. He's funny, he's funny, I like him, yeah. he's funny, yeah. He's also very intelligent. Ah, yeah. You don't, nobody's mentioned this, but, but he's very, very clever. Okay. And I'll, sh like, next time we watch him, I'll show you. He's very clever, but he doesn't. He doesn't well, show that. that. That, like, his, his um, outward persona is, is, like, trying to show that he's, not so intelligent okay but but if you if you analyze if you kind of observe him and watch what he does some of his comments are, are, are very very okay he's not just funny he's really clever yeah so if you look at um and i'll, I'll show you probably later um he had jordan Peterson on his on his Probably's. podcast okay and what I really liked about it he was super so you know how high level jordan Peterson is intelligence wise mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he was able to to under, he understood he Jordan able. Peterson. Yeah, well, this is what was interesting because Jordan Peterson, he does all these interviews, he does all these um, podcasts and everything else with other people. Yeah. And it's always talking about his philosophies yeah. and everything else. And it's all really serious. So Theo Vaughn was, as he does, always kind of making jokes. Making jokes, and making jokes. Yeah. But the jokes were set at the level of Jordan Peterson. Okay. That's how I know he's, he's very... Okay, he's very well, I need to watch that. It was really good because he was making Jordan Peterson laugh. Okay. And Jordan, Pe Jordan Peterson, for me, he's one of these people who's so, so intelligent mm. that a cer certain comedy doesn't touch him. Because, mm. You know what I mean? Some comedy is like really low-level comedy okay. and actually it's not that... But but he needs something to be really high, quite high level, quite intelligent to, to, to tickle him, to, okay. to tickle his, his, his funny bone. Yeah. And Theo Von did it again and again and again. And it, that that I, I found that really interesting. Yeah. So so what I'm I'm thinking of is is that Jordan Peterson, he's 
he's a genius, he's a tortured genius, but it'd be nice to see him kind of relax and be able to laugh a yeah. lot more. And I, I wonder if that's he part... He does, he does. I wonder if, if part of it is that he's he holds himself to too high, mm. uh, kind of too high a level, too high a quality. Yeah. Because we're all flawed humans. Mm. See, so it makes me wonder if some of his depression that he's, he's had mm. is because maybe he doesn't... He's too demanding with himself. Yeah, so maybe when he fails to hit the level of yeah. of um, of morality that he, yeah. he wants... I think maybe he because his his wife has cancer, mm. so maybe obviously it does. Well, that was that was a really big <laughs> yes, thing. I know. I know that was a big affect thing him yeah. really really badly. So, which is going to yeah, it's going to affect anybody, I guess. Yeah. Um, so hopefully get better soon. Yeah, I get better soon, Jordan. Jordan Peterson, yeah. miss you. <laughs> but also he um like he he, he eats the he, he eats the carnivore diet. The carnivore diet. diet. So, <sighs> carnival diet. You know what? I love meat. I can eat meat all the time, but then it's too expensive. We can't afford to live just eating meat. That's why we need bread and rice and chips well, and crisps and things. What's interesting about that, though? What's interesting about that is that those things have been made cheap by uh, big okay. corporations and things. Corporations if you think about it, they want us fat. Mm. Maybe, but if, if you think about it, in the past, in, in our uh, more primitive past, yeah. meat was... The, because people really... haunted? Yeah. You can haunt now. You can you go to the field? But what I'm saying, no, but I, I understand what you're saying, but we we hunted in the past, but you're saying it's more it's too expensive to eat meat now. Like, what went wrong? Like, in the yeah. past, we just hunted? Haunted, yeah. That was it? And because we, uh, we got... Civilized and the laws and the rules. Civilized. The rules we didn't get civilized. We got we got put okay. under. Okay. We are living now. We are living in the countryside in Wales. Mm. Where are you gonna go and hunt? I could go and hunt anywhere. I could go and hunt without the police. Rabbit. Well, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I could go and hunt rabbit, pheasant. Okay. I could go and fish. Okay. Um, Without license? No, so that's what I'm saying. So I could. Okay. If the land was free and we were just living as 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 primitive people, I could just go and hunt. Is there any place you can go no. without a license? No, no. That's what I'm saying. You need a license for everything. You've got to get a permit to go and hunt in, in any 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 kind of location around here. It's ridiculous. It's yeah. it's not. I think every day these days everything is about making money for something. Everything's else. regulated now. Regulated, yes, the control. Yeah. Unfortunately. But just here, because in my country, no, in Colombia. No, exactly. People go and hunt. I have my dad's brother, uh, my uncle, uh, he still hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Rabbits, uh, armadillo, mm -hmm. uh, all the stuff. Yeah. yeah. And they eat then or sell sell them then yeah. live. Which is the way it should be, yeah. in my yeah. opinion. And do you know they are organic? And they tell us, yeah, it's 100% it's organic. But, but we're told, yes. we're told here that we live, we're kind of living free. And it's the, the third world who, doesn't live. who aren't living free. They're li living in poverty. poverty. When the reality is, is that we're the ones who've now been, who, who are now kind of controlled. We're not allowed to go and hunt. Go we're not allowed to go and fish. Yeah. We're not, and now we need to keep two meters distance between each other. That's and we need to cover up our facial what expressions. Our face now? We need to cover our facial. Oh expressions. Oh my god! It's, it's, when, when you start to put it all together, it, it starts next? to feel a bit scary, doesn't it? What's next? What do you think will be next? I don't know. But think, also, think about something that could be next like, about the coronavirus. Well, here's um, here's the thing: is if you're so we're told to stay at home. Mm. We're told to cover our faces so you can't see the facial expressions of... of, of we have been told we can go out, but now we can go out. Yeah. But when, now people are at home. That now, now, compared to the past, we've got the internet. We've got entertainment at home. We've got connectivity at home. We, we speak to our family at home. at home. We can work from home. We can work from home. Everything's pushing us... To be to inside the house. So okay. essentially, we're 
at, at this point, we're batteries at this point yeah. to the system. Yeah. And something that I read earlier as well, which was re interesting, I think it was Tim Paul um, on, on Twitter, and he made a really good point that governments can, can give out as much money as they want. They can give out all the money in the world. To, to the people, to the citizens of the countries. Okay. But if there's nobody working to produce things for people to buy, yeah. Then, then there's no point in giving money out. Giving money out. Like, like it's like me just getting some paper and giving it to you and just going, there you go, you're rich now, you've got yeah, free money. Don't worry, here's the free money. Yeah. And then you turn around and you go, yes. okay, I'm going to buy. They need people to buy and people who work. To produce stuff for people who buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I don't know. I yeah. don't know. This is just crazy. I don't know. I just. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully it'll get get back to something like normal. Yeah. Hopefully. Is the hope. I mean, the, the scary thing that I saw. Did I, I don't know if I sh showed you something that was a bit scary yesterday. Was it yesterday or this morning? No, it was this morning. So I wouldn't have. I don't think I would have shown you is that apparently that scientists have detected coronavirus in uh, pollution okay. in the sky. Okay. So pollution traveling in the atmosphere. Okay. So now car, car companies are gonna be... <laughs> no, no well, not, not like that. Just talking about, for example, that it's airborne. Oh, okay. So the idea being that, it, that it's not just human to human contact anymore. Mm. Has, has it been spread? Yeah. Through the air. Okay. Wow. Which would make That's more serious because serious. if you can breathe now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. And then when they talk about, I mean, they've been talking recently about vaccines, and I get the vaccine thing, but when you look at other, um, I don't know, you call them strands or species strands, I think it is of of virus. Okay. Common cold, flu, maybe not flu, SARS, which was, I don't know if you remember the, the SARS outbreak, that was another virus that, mm -hmm. was MERS, which was another outbreak, I think SARS is, no, I'm not sure, South, South Asia, okay. respiratory something, I don't know, anyway, but there's no vaccine for them, so for, for the majority of viruses, there is no vaccine. And, there Sudan, isn't and suddenly for coronavirus is going to be a vaccine. Well, so they're saying, yeah, exactly. So, so they're saying, yeah, we've got to find a... So some people are saying we've got to find a vaccine. And what if we can't find a vaccine? So we haven't been able to find a vaccine well, for the other viruses. The, the weird thing about coronavirus... I know about HIV. Know HIV about is doctor. a virus. We can't find a vaccine. We can manage the virus. The virus, but, but no we vaccine. can't find a vaccine. Yeah, but the thing about coronavirus is some people die. Because the coronavirus and so on, and some people just get the virus post check. It's fine. They are fine. Yeah. yeah. So that's the difficult part. I mean, I, I guess thinking about it. Like some people that. are immune, and some people don't. The good thing about that, so thinking about it logically, the good thing that some people are really badly affected and other people aren't. The good thing about that, that knowing that, is that the hope is that you can find what that what that thing is, like what is it that, that the people who, who don't get affected by it, but carry it, what do they have in their... You know what I believe, in this in is the way. just another plague. Yeah? Plague, plague. plague, sorry. You need to edit that, please. This is just another plague. Because there are too many humans on the planet. And there need to be like a clean up. I think it's just more than nature cleaning up and that's it. That's as bad as my big foot. <laughs> my big foot belief. Plague? Plague. Yeah, it could plague. be. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, another one. So what's next? What are we talking about? So we'll move on. Yeah, so so a little bit lighter now because we've been... We've just depressed, depressed oh, ourselves yeah. with the... Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. I want a good news. Um, so, no. It's just, I just wanted to just talk. I, I, I need to get some ideas. I need to get some ideas for my, to increase my subscribers on YouTube. Okay. Because I'm not very, either I'm really boring, yeah, you which know could you're... be the case, or I just need to start to build up my... Do something different. Yeah, so, like, I was thinking, because my, 
So I've adapted, I've adapted all my social media a little bit now. Okay. I've changed some of the things on my social media and I've changed my um, YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So instead of it being like a business-based YouTube channel, I want to focus on the, the, drinks, the, the podcast. Yeah, about drinks? Drinks with Chris. Okay. Yeah. So like, you, my, my background is pubs, restaurants, which is drinking, drinking, drink. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Food and drink. But people don't find that interesting. If we're, if we're no, honest. it's not really. It's just a subject on its own. We love drink. You know, we like drinking. I'm drinking. Yeah, you're I drinking. drinking. Yeah, I love drinking. We're both yes. having a good time. Yeah. But people don't like if you're going to do a video on just drink, just just drinks and or just food. They're never they're never that popular. Do you know what I mean? Mm, okay. Like the biggest ones are still not there's not that many subscribers and, okay. and so that's why I've changed some of the things in my and I think people as I start to have different guests people will kind of enjoy this podcast, enjoy the but. podcast yeah unfortunately so, I'm the only one available at the moment the yeah you've been on twice now three in three episodes yeah it's just me <laughs> don't worry don't worry I've asked a few I've asked a few people but not Adam. I want to start charging you for this <laughs> <laughs> so um the wine's getting to me I don't know what was I saying yeah. yeah, we are talking about. Uh, so yeah, so so yeah, so so people like it's not the biggest thing. It's not the it's not the best subject for people to get excited about. People like to drink, but to to listen to somebody talking about food, drink, no. pubs, bars, restaurants, it's not that that exciting. So which is why I'm doing the podcast. So, in order to get more subscribers and more people interested, I want to do something that is going to make people click the subscribe button. And one of my ideas is to do some sort of giveaway. Okay. So, yeah. So I, I just want to, I want to, I want to create something that's going to be interesting for people, for to to get more subscribers, and that's what I'm. That's my aim. That's what I'm trying to, to to think of a way to to do that. I don't know. But what, so one of the ideas was that I came up with was a, like a beer giveaway. So if I can contact companies, and ask them to kind of donate some beer. Not just maybe not beer, but beer or wine or spirits or whatever. And if I can collect a load together, yeah, and then I can start to post across my social media saying, um, "Try these." No, no, saying okay. So if you, so for example, if it was I don't know, uh, Echo Falls, I don't know, and Carling. Mm. If you like their their pages on social media and you retweet them and you also subscribe to me. Mm then all of the people that do that i'll check that they've done those things and then do like a raffle type thing and the person wins the the the, the, the drinks. drinks but it would need to be something what i was thinking was it it'd need to be something big like a bit like um kind of mr b mr beast desk mr beast is the guy who does all the all the these crazy, crazy like, like a challenge you yeah. give away yeah so i was just thinking like if so my idea was if we could do if i could get so much alcohol donated from different companies and then the winner for example it would be crazy it would be good but it would be crazy if i could like fill their house up with with, with a specific drink yeah so when they come home so mm. for example when they come home they come through the door they unlock the door and as they come in like there's just a path through the house just big enough for them to walk. Do you know what I mean? Floor and it's floor to ceiling with the drinks okay. through the house. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Do you think that's the... Yeah, it could be something really... Insane. And then obviously then film that as a video. And do it. To get publicity. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Or can you think of a different way of getting... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I need to think about that. Beer, beer wise, I don't know. Yeah. It's people just, people like free stuff and things like that so which is why but then i i, I need to convince the the companies to what is that, is that your glass i think so um i've got to convince the companies to to do that though yeah i don't know whether they're just going to donate because of that you need to get more people in your i know it's like a chicken or an egg thing. yeah so it's just like you need more subscribers yeah. to, to to approach to the companies able, yeah and then you need the companies to do stuff to Make yeah. people interested, don't they? Maybe it's just going to take a bit of time to... Yeah, to take time. I need to do some sort of publicity stunt, I don't know. Yeah. You need, you need... Please, if anybody's got any ideas, just please give me a shout. I'm, I need some ideas for, 
for doing publicity stunts and to yeah. get people interested in. Yeah, yeah. you're going to need you're gonna need Jordan Peterson, Jason Momoa, or Tom Hardy. To come down and give us a hand? Yes. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> I'm fucked. Yeah, do you have a guilty pleasure? What's your guilty pleasure? Do you have any? Everybody have a guilty pleasure. Like what? I don't know. Something like a really weird, oh, like a guilty um, pleasure. Guilty pleasure is not something like a, you have, like a, nobody knows. And uh, sometimes it's kinky or weird or disgusting, yeah, but it's just you like it. Uh, For example, like a pico, you know, when you're driving and you. <laughs> ah, that's not Pico, you're driving. You're driving and. What? Some people put their hands behind the bottle and smell the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that. You know, it's true. There are some weird people out there who do really weird stuff. Why do you. I don't know what mine is. Do you don't have a guilty pleasure? I probably have got one. I just can't think of one. Come on, Chris. Think about it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, no. If I, if, I, if I can think of it during the, the rest of this podcast. Jesus then. Christ, you don't have imagination. <laughs> mm? Any guilty pleasure that I've got, I wouldn't be able to put on this podcast and then Maybe YouTube wait. would, would take me down. Why would you say that? Yeah. Oh, God. Get taken down, probably. <laughs> um, you're my guilty pleasure. <laughs> I'm very guilty about the pleasure that, that I get from you. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll move on now to um, to a, something that's going to be on every episode of the podcast, which is Ask Reddit. Okay. Um, so. So on Ask Reddit, I've, um, I'm going to choose different subreddits to, to to find interesting posts on and then me and Zunny will discuss or me and the guests will discuss them. Um, so this one is off the too afraid to ask subreddit. Okay. So it's like questions that are a bit a bit For example, your guilt a pleasure. Yes, things like that. Things like that that too afraid to ask that it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a question that everybody could answer. For example, anal or oral? Come on, Chris. Anal or oral? Um, oral for me. <laughs> right for you. Oral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Anal's, anal's good when you've never done it, isn't it? And then, <laughs> and then you realise that it's... Do you know what I mean? It's one of those things... For me, it's one of those things that's a bit of an anticlimax. Yeah, it's something that you should have seen. Part movies and eh? nah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's true. Um, so yeah, so so um, I'd look on this too afraid to ask subreddit, and this is from uh, the user Led Garp. I don't know if that's an anagram or something. Prague? No, it's not. Um, and he says, so listen to this, and then we'll we'll talk about whether it's like. The answer. Okay. He says, first of all, so he, he, sorry, his post's title is, What is it with all the anti Chinese sentiment everywhere? And he says, first of all, I do not in any way condone support the, Ch uh, the Ch Chinese Communist Party and their actions to rest. So rest assured, I'm not spreading propaganda. Everywhere I go, I see comments along the lines of, fuck Chinese people and dirty bat eating subhumans. <laughs> Okay. okay. I understand that the virus. Did... <laughs> That's so bad. I understand that the virus did indeed come from China and their population, but that does not warrant culture bashing, as it is only a select few who practice that lifestyle and diet. Okay. Due to the rise of coronavirus, many anti-Chinese people sentiment has been popping everywhere throughout the internet. And it has become a, a scapegoat for people to express their latent ill feelings towards Chinese people. I myself am a second generation Chinese Australian immigrant whose family has very well assimilated into Western society, but constantly get berated just for our appearance. Okay. As I said once again, I do not support the Chinese Communist Party. And I understand that many Chinese people are ill mannered and have a great lack of respect. Yeah. But please talk to someone before you judge their character. Yeah, definitely. 
I know the feeling because as a Colombian, I know our what we are famous for, drugs. Yeah. So when we have people think, oh, Pablo Escobar. So they think, oh, the Colombian people, you have drugs in the in the in the suitcase when you are an airport, when you go to a new country, with all this stuff. So I think it's the same feeling for Chinese people. It's just because few Chinese eat all this exotic, extravagant food. So everybody just having like, a, oh, every, all the Chinese people, all the, because of the virus, because of the Chinese people's fault. So I think it's just generalization. Generalization. Generalization, yeah, thank you. And it's just that. It's just... It's just that thing we, we we I don't know if it's somebody they want to create division between us. That's it. Somebody on the top want to divide us. And they choose I guess different cultures and this time, sorry China, it was your time. Yeah. Next time can be an Asian another Asian country, next time could be America, next time could be South America or Europe or any anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I just I wanted to 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 like to get your. So when I first read that, I thought to myself, I thought it's not like I sometimes wonder whether whether it's like people become more sensitive. So the people who feel attacked mm -hmm. actually become more. Wait, when you say people who feel attacked, you're talking about Chinese people? So, for example, this guy who, who's, who's... Definitely Chinese. Um, half Chinese Australian background. immigrant. Okay. okay. I'm guessing, I don't know if he's, he's half Chinese, half Australian, or, or just Chinese living in Australia. Okay. Know. If I had the same feeling, somebody talking, oh, all the Colombian people come to the UK, to America, just bringing cocaine in the handbag. If I'm a Colombian hearing that in an airport, in a city, of course I'm going to feel like a touch. No, that's funny. It's, it's yeah. exactly the same feeling. <laughs> It's different. It's different in that this is like, this is slightly different in that something's happened, an event's happened, like an event, that this person feels attacked because of that happening. Yes. And so I'm wondering, like I was thinking to myself, maybe he's a guy. I don't know, okay. but but my point is, let me let me just. So what I was going to say was, is that I I don't see any. I I've never seen any anti-Chinese sentiment but then then we live in Wales so exactly like yeah Sim so so that's one like one thing and, and it reminded me of what happened with Brexit when mm. when Brexit happened there were a lot of minority ethnic minority people which I don't like saying anyway but eth people of ethnic minority background who who were saying that they felt more like more attacked or by pe by British British people say, okay. and I never ever saw it. Like I yeah. I never once saw it. But then so then now I'm, I'm today I thought about it even more and I thought actually, like just because I don't see it and just because I, I don't feel like that doesn't mean it's not happening. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So is it a case of? Like, can you imagine that happening? Can you imagine people? Like, I can't imagine. I think, I think definitely, because there are horrible people out there. There are horrible people. Ignorant. And they're just attacking. No, no, I know they're no. ignorant. They need to be ignorant to, to behave like that. But they are horrible people there thinking, oh, because of China, we are fucked up now. Because the Chinese okay. eating bats or eating snakes or eating whatever rats, because of them, it's, it's their fault, because now you're fucked up. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're just completely... Again, because it's easy to blame somebody else than... Yeah. Yes. And because the news... Yeah. But then, yes. but I would imagine that's a minority that do that. Though. Yeah, of course, it's a minority. So so that's what I'm saying, that, like, is it a case of, of those people being... I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not, like, saying that these people are wrong in any way. But what I'm saying is, is do you think that these people are sensitive to that? Like, maybe it feels to them like everybody's attacking Everybody them. attacking them, possibly. When it's actually only an ignorant individual yeah, who's shouting something yeah. out. And they feel like everybody looking at them yeah. horrible, differently. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It's just... Have you seen those videos about in in China shopping centre? The the security guys stopping black people to get in in the... In the going, I think it was going into McDonald's, yeah. I don't know, in yeah. different places. Like That's 
Again, look, these people, Chinese people blaming somebody else because of the virus. But to be fair to them, I saw, um, I did see a, a post where they'd apologised. I don't know what shop it was, or what, but they'd apologised. So it just shows that it's not, like, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of, a, a lot of people who want to, who want to paint a picture or want to write a narrative, in my opinion, they want to, they always want to paint a group mm. and it's always a group. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So people talk about China, the, na the Chinese narrative. Oh, Do you know what I mean? No. Like as a total. So that, like, so they're always talking about how it's China. So, so that's saying that all Chinese people are like this. So for example, all Chinese people are racist towards mm. African towards people. Africa. I think it was no. African, the guy. So yeah. when actually it's not, it's, it's. So it's it's just it's it's individual companies yeah, or it's individual yeah, it's, it's, just... pro, it's it's playing on it's playing on people's fear of of what's not familiar. Yeah. You know what I think is just somebody else using all these videos and media so just to create all these divisions. And because somebody watched the video and retweet or Yeah, yeah. Share, it might have it's... just been one like it might have just been one one yeah. shop, one thing in the whole of China it could have been. That's it, and that video just is around the world, and, and that's how propaganda. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's how propaganda it. works. Yeah. So that's why we need to be selective, and we need to research, and we need to find the. the and this day is so difficult because in in internet you find so much rubbish, so you can't or, believe you can't yeah, believe yeah. whatever you see. There. Or discount everything, yeah. and t like you say, until or you can verify experience. whether that's true or not. True. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I like for example, Chinese, hundred percent. Like I know, I know everything that's going on, and I know, like how how it's it's affecting our lives and everything else. But I've got zero. I've got zero yeah. feeling. I just look towards forward Chinese to people. go buy to go and buy buy stuff in Alibaba. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, and I like I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to going to a Chinese takeaway and getting yeah, Chinese food. Chinese food. I love it's Chinese food. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. But like you say, like I, I imagine that's the majority of people feel like me and you, mm. that we don't hold it against no. against Chinese people, and it's the same with anything, with any kind of any, any like racist really. sentiment or anything. I think that the majority of people don't have any feelings about it. Like yeah. we're all humans, yeah. and that's how people feel. But like like you say, it's it's the way that the the media put it across, and that's the narrative, and we're yeah, all different. Yeah, and we, these people we are... need to make people hate each other. We need yeah. to make they don't see each other. They heaven don't forbid. Come together. Heaven forbid if they all came together. Because if they come together, we are gonna. They would be yeah. fucked. Yeah. 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 Hundred percent. Hundred percent. If all the people of the world came together and realized. So you people there. It doesn't matter if you're black, Chinese, Latin, whatever, European. Just or whatever, Asian, Muslim, whatever, just come together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come together. It doesn't matter if you are Catholic, Christian, Muslim. Divide and conquer, that's what they're trying to do. It's because it's easy to break us when we are full apart from each other. It's easy to do that. It's very easy, yeah. yeah. And if we apply the same thing in jobs and relationships, and, and it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah, so. So like, so what is with all the anti-Chinese sentiment everywhere? Like, my thing was that I don't think there is no. anti-Chinese sentiment everywhere. No, no. I think that maybe there are ignorant people who are maybe... There are always idiots, idiots are there, yeah. so I just... Yeah. But again, this post, like, I don't know, this post could be propaganda. Again, exactly. it could be propaganda, like trying to to you build up build like up, fear in Chinese people. Writing and replying, oh, these things are blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And again, people who reply or people to write, maybe they're not feeling that. They are not mean. They don't mean that. Yeah. Because they want somebody just to read that, but that also means they believe that. No, no. Ah. Yeah, so. Okay. Right, so um, so I think the last thing that I want to talk about have you, have you heard the like the scan the scandal, the thing that everybody's been talking about, which is Donald Trump 
People have said, the media have said, that Donald Trump has said that you can possibly inject disinfectant into your body to kill coronavirus. Right? Have you heard about mm -hmm. No. So <laughs> so this is this was his press conference the other day, the like the, the coronavirus okay. press conference. So I'll show you what he says. The media said Donald Trump said you can inject the thing okay. And there is a video who shows that. So I'm going to show you the press. I'm going to show because I didn't think you'd seen it. I'm going to show you the press conference, mm -hmm. and then we'll like talk about it after. Okay. So here's the okay. the press conference. Mm -hmm. So supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said. That hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, books you could. right. And then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or or almost a cleaning, because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. The new headline is Trump asks people to go outside. That's dangerous. Here we go. Same old group. Uh, you ready? I hope people enjoy the sun. And if it has an impact, that's great. I'm just hearing this, not really for the first time. I mean, there's been a rumor that you know, a very nice rumor that you go outside in the sun or you have heat and it does have an effect on other viruses. But now we get it from one of the great laboratories of the world, I have to say. It covers a lot more territory than just this. This is, this is probably an easy thing, relatively speaking, for you. I would like you to speak to the medical doctors to see if there's any way that you can apply light and heat to cure. You know, if you could, and maybe you can, maybe you can't. Again, I say maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'm not a doctor, but I'm like a person that has a good, you know what. But, sir, uh, you're the president. Deborah, have you ever heard of that? Uh, the uh, heat and the light relative to certain viruses, yes, but relative to this virus? That is a treatment. I mean, certainly fever yeah. is a good thing when you have a fever. It helps your body respond. We're very advanced in testing. Other countries are calling us to find out what are we doing. And by the way, within two weeks... So, like, I just want to quickly so, show you. Look, like, let me just show you the key... So I use, um, I use a tool called Keywords Everywhere. Mm. And I can see the keywords that whoever's posted this mm. have put. And, and in this in this instance, it was a telegraph... Okay. So these are the keywords that they've put for people searching. Okay. And and so like they've put Dettol, which is a Dettol is a is a disinfectant. Um sunlight, yeah, because of sunlight, yeah. yeah. Trump disinfectant, UV light, UV light. Bleach, bleach, injecting bleach. Injecting bleach. Injecting Toilet disinfectant. dock Toilet. is another thing, yeah. Dr. Trump. Clorox, which is another one. Yeah. Like so that so so there like, But do you think the telegraph gets some money from those companies. No, 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 no. So what they're doing is like that. Is, th those keywords are what the what the telegraph have thought that people will be searching on YouTube for for that video. So that's what they put. Anyway, but my point is, is so it's been splashed all over. All over. Is that media. A, a recent yesterday? That was okay. uh, yesterday or the day before. I think. I think it was two days ago now. Because then he, he like clarified. Okay. Something saying that he was being sarcastic, which I don't think he was. So, then, all of the the news, almost everybody was was saying, don't inject disinfectant, don't inject, and uh, whatever you do. Contrary to what the the president of the U.S. says, don't inject. So, do you think people believe after these things they're gonna start injecting bleach? This is my point. This is my point. I'm glad. You, I'm glad you just said that because that's my point. My point is people aren't that stupid. No. Like, people aren't that stupid. He didn't actually say that anyway. Like I'm just gonna show you now. He didn't actually instruct people 
He didn't instruct people to inject disinfectant. Look. Look carefully what he says. Testing. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute. Disinfectant knocks it out in a minute. Is there a way we can do something like that? Is there a way we can do something like that? Injection inside or or almost a cleaning because you see injection inside or almost a cleaning. So it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're gonna have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds You can have to you can have to use medical doctors. And then he says later, he says, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Do you think this, the newspaper so truly believe people that are stupid and dumb to start injecting themselves? Bleach and... The no, I think they do. I think, well, I think... No, I don't think they do. I just think that, like, it's the narrative that they want to push. But my point, my point is, and I'm not, I'm not like... I'm they are not twisting, twisting. Yes, everything. I'm not supporting what, what Trump's saying. Trump, in that instance, has... has, has he, he's been dumb. Like he's not. That's not a clever thing for him to say. Mm. It's not a clever thing at all. But the point. But the point is, is he didn't say it's the recommendation that people should go and inject disinfectant. What he said was, disinfectant knocks it out in a minute, so it kills the virus in a minute. And then he said, is there not something we could do with that, mm. where people, where you could maybe inject. Mm. Yeah. inject it so he's not he's saying something like a disinfectant yeah. so so, so what yeah. he's done in his he's people don't want to take that like a... yeah but it's not uh, people aren't going to take it because people aren't stupid <laughs> but but what what is a disinfectant the word disinfectant doesn't mean bleach disinfectant is something that destroys infection yes so you can use yeah, that in different yeah. concepts. It doesn't need to be a chemical disinfectant. Yeah. It's, it's I think unfortunately in that time, Donald Trump didn't use the best example. Yes, to, that's so the problem. To talk about but what annoys me, what annoys me is how people have, have like posted videos now and even the news corporations have posted saying... Donald Trump. Contrary to what Trump says, don't inject yourself with disinfectant. <laughs> well, Trump didn't say. Yeah. Inject yourself with disinfectant. It really, it, like that. That that's a really good example of how people. And you know what? That's what the news, the newspaper, the news and TV. They need to understand. We we, we are not stupid. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing they believe in the past. Ah, people are stupid. They'll just believe what we say. Well, some people do though, because some people are retweeting like. And that's the crazy thing. Some people are retweeting the media, the, the the news companies, and everything else, and saying, "Oh, look at Trump! This idiot telling people to to inject disinfectant." No way. That's like a no, Jose. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. That's why people these days they prefer to listen to podcasts instead. of yes. Blogging news and yeah. BBO. That's why the traditional mainstream media is going down. Down. And the podcasts. Journalists that, and the journalists really, are losing yeah. jobs because. They lost the blood, they just... And actually, it. it's interesting you say that. This is why people have lost... Co there was a, a poll today that said that people have completely lost confidence yes. in the media. Yeah. yeah. And that's why. Because the media are peddling their own agendas. Yeah. They're pushing their own agendas. And people are... And they're hoping that people will believe it. But people aren't believing it anymore. No. And that's why... That's why... That's why the governments want to control the internet now. Because, because people are, people way. now people now can verify things. Right. Like like us now, we're looking at it. He doesn't say inject yourself with disinfectant. No, no. What he says is disinfectant kills a virus. It, it knocks it out in a minute, within a minute. Mm. Maybe we could do some could we do something like that? Where you inject and what he's saying is he's saying is there's something that we could create yeah. along the lines of disinfectant that will kill the virus with an injection that's what he's saying yeah but, but, but so what we need to recommend the people who believe that is before injecting themselves bleach or death hole go to youtube and check the video and see what it does. But nobody's going to inject themselves with, with bleach or death hole. but it's true it, mm. 
what I'm saying is, is what's annoying is that peop the news now is not... Donald Trump said something silly, but it wasn't, it wasn't misleading and it wasn't dangerous. If you listen to what he says, it wasn't dangerous. He was saying, we're testing these things and maybe we can test... Mm. All he's trying to do is sound intelligent, but he, on this subject, he's not. He doesn't know, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Mm. So that's the... That's yeah, because, the, because he's not a doctor. He's and he says, I'm not a doctor. And he says, you need to speak to the medical doctor because I haven't got a clue. Look, he's basically saying, I haven't got a clue what I'm, like, what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But he certainly didn't say, inject yourself. Yeah, I don't know. Did you, I don't know, did you no, hear? No, 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 he didn't say that. I'm just hearing this, not really for the first time, but it's been a rumor that, you know, you're a nice rumor that you go outside of the sun, you have heat, and it does have an effect on other viruses. But He's actually showing that he doesn't understand. Yeah, yeah, and he's asking for advice or behind somebody, behind him, I don't know. I would like you to speak to medical doctors to see if there's any way that you can apply light and heat to cure. If you could, and maybe you can. Look, Donald, okay. I'd like you to speak to medical docs, doctors to see if you could apply light and heat to cure. Like, this guy's a businessman. He knows fuck all about, about medical things yeah. and about curing a virus. He's not gonna say but he's trying to, he, he's trying to figure it, in his like limited knowledge, he's trying to figure it out. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Do you, I don't know, do you agree? Do you, do you agree that he's trying to figure it out? Mm -hmm. But, but he doesn't know, which is why he's saying, like, you need to speak to the medical speak doctors. To doctors before, yeah. Maybe we can do this. And I'll tell you what it is, it's, it's, that's like a key thing about positivity. He's, tr he's sh he, what he was trying to do, ultimately, was show that he's trying to find a solution. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah, yeah. And it's, yeah, yeah. Positivity is about saying that you can find a solution. Yeah. And that's what he was trying to do, in my opinion. In my opinion. Yeah. But it's, it, it's yeah, annoying. Yeah, unfortunately. Like, Donald I don't care about Donald I really don't care about Donald, care about Donald Trump. Unfortunately, Donald Trump is not the uh, clever guy to use the best example. As, and because everyone is always expecting the worth from him to say or to do, <laughs> unfortunately, for him. But he's not a bad guy. But that's, no, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I, I don't, I don't necessarily, I'm not defending, like, I'm not, no, not, 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 not defending, I am defending him. I'm not supporting him in what I'm saying. Mm. I'm not supporting him and saying like I, I'm in, I'm endorsing Donald Trump. What I'm saying is, is that people have taken what he's said, completely, yeah, yeah, exaggerated it, pulled it out of context, and then that's mm. that's the, not, that's the no, maybe people are not taking that. It's just the news, retweeting or writing something. Please don't inject bleach. But I don't think people want to do it. No, but. Come on. But they're using it to, to a attack. It's a telegra telegra telegrapher just trying to bring more people to read. But he's, he's the thing. He, it's not the Who buys the, the newspaper these days? No, no one buys the newspaper. Mm, yeah, that's true. But like, if you like, look at it this way. You know what we were talking about before, just in the last segment about the Chinese, about how people feel about the Chinese people. Mm -hmm. So look at it this way. People are... So the, the mainstream media are attacking Donald Trump over this at the moment and it's completely false and they've just created a whole narrative that everybody's losing their mind over because he's, according to them, he's, he's um, told people to inject bleach. <laughs> That's the same, exactly the same, as telling people that Chinese people uh, yeah. are responsible. They're responsible because of the coronavirus. Yeah. It's true, isn't it? It's the same thing. It's creating. It's the it's the media creating the narrative. Yeah, but people are more selective today. People are clever. clever. We are clever. We don't yeah. believe that bullshit. No, no. I just wanted to make that point that yeah. Yeah, to show that the media have have made something completely different yeah, to what the reality. Telegrapher. Fuck telegrapher. Nobody cares. Telegraph. Telegrapher. Telegraph. 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 Fuck off, telegraph.
Telegraph. <laughs> You can make a rap. Telegraph, 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 telegraph. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's just. No, it's all good. Right then, that's the last, the last little section. That was, that was the end. That was yeah. Good Hopefully, somebody, please, please, somebody, please come and be Chris's uh, guest. Yeah, yes. If anybody. Yeah, wants because to be a guest. I'm tired to spend my time. I should be in the sofa now, reading my book and watching a movie, but instead I just listen to this bullshit, so. <laughs> Do you, have you noticed this is the only time we talked? Yeah. Because all of that, we don't talk. You never listen to me. This is the only time you listen to me. <laughs> I think... You don't edit that. You die in your bloody <laughs> podcast. A wife complaining. You never that never happens. No, you never listen to me. No, no, seriously, Chris. You never listen to me. This is the only time we can okay. talk. See you later. And be serious. Like, comment, <laughs> share, and be subscribe. Serious about everything. If you want well, to. Blah, blah, blah. You never listen to me. See you later. She just listened to me when I said, Chris, the lunch is ready. The dinner is ready. Go and wash your fucking hands. God. <laughs> this is marriage. Oh, fuck off. <laughs>